Hello, welcome to this short presentation on Netcall Omnibus Event Flow Troubleshooting. The environment used to demonstrate the troubleshooting techniques used a MTRAP D probe in a Netcall Omnibus 8.1 Linux environment. With the MTTRAP D probe, events can be lost anywhere in the system. Initially, the event transmission to the probe's port must be confirmed. This is done using a network interface client that is able to read the events as they arrive on the system's Ethernet interface, for example TCP dump. Once configured, the netcall logs and logging tools can be used to track events through the system. By default, event transmission in the multi-tier system should take no longer than two minutes. Sometimes customizations hold events at the collection layer, and events at the display layer can be customized to be a subset of the events at the aggregation layer. Typically, the TCP dump command is used to confirm traps or informs are arriving at the probe's port. The probe has at least two locking features to confirm event reception in the probe. Raw capture, which is a pre-processing list of all event tokens. Probe logging. The probe log will log all details when message level is set to debug, as well as log specific details using the rules files log function. Some probes, such as the non-native probe, allow for additional debug logging, and some TCP-based probes can log the stream data seen at the probe's port using the stream capture properties. Use the minus dump props option to check for stream capture or additional login features. Object servers are capable of logging the SQL commands from clients. They can also be loaded with debugging triggers to log specific actions if required. For example, the L3 debug triggers log insert, update and deletes to a new log file. Events are transmitted to the aggregation layer using a unidirectional gateway. The object server's gateways can log SQL statements for event tracking. The aggregation layer is a place to check event processing using the L3 debug triggers if the event's transmission to the display layer is controlled using a filter. At the display layer, events can be tracked as with the collection layer to aggregation layer. Because display object server details are a copy of or subset of the aggregation layer, event loss at the display layer is less likely. Checking active triggers and the event loads in the trigger statistics and profile logs is useful when troubleshooting. To track events from the collection layer upwards, try creating a typical lost event with a easily found tag. For example, set the customer field equal to test. When searching for the event, use the server name and server serial. Check and string compare the event's identifier. Sometimes the identifiers look exactly the same in NCO SQL, but are in fact different. This issue is commonly due to locale differences in components. For example, the object servers use two different locale settings. The common causes of event loss are character issues in identifier caused by locale problems and gateway problems caused by inconsistent server name server serial values. Other causes include filters preventing event forwarding, event deletion, active primary only triggers, active triggers on all but the primary object server, rules file problems, event loads preventing normal behaviour.